This video will be covering the U19 category for the CoSpace Rescue 2022 software. We will learn about the virtual and real robots, the calibration process, programming the GUI and understanding its zero degree point. Also, we will take a look at the performance of our CoSpace robot for the Rayline virtual world. In CoSpace Robot Rescue Simulator, the virtual robot is equipped with three ultrasonic sensors, two color sensors and one compass sensor. These sensors are used to detect obstacles, boundaries, color objects, color markers, and the robot orientation. The VRBOT D1 robot consists of six infrared sensors, three ultrasonic sensors, two RGB color sensors, one Euro sensor, one LED, extendable, DC motors. The infrared sensors will not be used in CoSpace Rescue. Before we begin programming, we have to first perform calibration for our real robot. This would ensure accurate real-time sensor feedback in the real-world environment from the three types of sensors. Without calibration, we may end up with very different values for the RGB sensors and may cause our robot to make wrong turns. To carry out calibration, we will be using the Arduino application. We will now be performing our first calibration which is the compass calibration. Step 1. Open the Arduino app. Next, connect the VRBOT D1 to your laptop using the micro USB cable. Ensure that your laptop has access to the internet. In the application, click on Files. Examples. VRBOT underscore D1. And select Compass Calibration. This will bring you to the Compass Calibration panel. Under Tools, check that all the proper channels have been selected for the board, processor, and the port. You may now begin uploading your program and a message will appear shortly after successful upload as shown below. Detach the micro USB cable from the robot and begin test on the real world environment. Once you hear the beeping sound, this indicates that the compass calibration process is complete. You may now power off your robot. For the sensor and color-wise balance calibration, load the respective program in the Arduino application. Repeat the steps to upload and start the robot calibration in the real-world environment. This is the map comparison of the virtual and real world with the same layout excluding the placement of objects. Users are required to create a program that can work in both worlds. Now we will be moving on to programming the robot. The application that we will be using is the CoSpace Rescue 2022. For this example, our program will include four main functions and they are navigation, collecting objects, turning right on pink marker and depositing. This is roughly how the program should look like in the AI development panel. Here we have the deposit function, collecting objects, turning right on pink marker, and the navigation statements. The program will then you be may wish to create your own robot. version of the program for a better and enhanced robot performance. Build and upload Place your program to the real the robot. Field. After uploading, you may test and monitor your robot performance in the playing Users field. Users would be able to observe the robot's performance by monitoring the different. Before placing robot in the plating field, ensure that it is powered off. Take note that once robot is powered on, the direct north direction is set as the 0 360 degrees point on its compass as shown in the picture. Once set on the desired direction, you may power on the robot and press play for robot to take action. We will now have a look at the robot's performance in the real and virtual world. The robot is currently navigating from its start point and collecting objects along the way. Here we have a different point of view of the same traveling path.
Here the robot is programmed to turn right on pink, with its LED flashing, and proceed to the deposit zone. This shows the movement of the robot from a different point of view. Thank you for watching.